Turns out I'm Jewish. <laughs> Disclaimer. Please refrain from watching this video if you are unable to watch it till the end. This video will explore many of the lies Nas Daily has told about Islam and Palestine and ask the question, is Nas Daily a fake Muslim? Nas Daily is somebody who says that he's a Palestinian, however tweets stuff like this. I am Israeli first, then Palestinian. He makes videos that get millions of views that whitewash Israel's crimes. When Israel came to existence, there were other people living there and some people left, some people got kicked out, some people died, and some people stayed inside. So my ancestors are the ones who stayed under Israel. So one day we woke up, we're like, okay, we're Israeli citizens. Israel did not come into existence as Nas claims in this video. Rather, Israel occupied Palestine. Palestinians didn't just die. They were brutally killed by Zionists. There was 11 opportunities for peace and they were squandered for different reasons. Sometimes it was Israel's fault and many times it was Palestine's fault. Nas needs to understand that peace does not always equal justice and that you don't talk peace with thieves. These slander and lies are the reason why Nas Daily is so hated by anyone who loves Palestine. This guy hollow America for both country Palestine. No. He tried to punch me. You're from Palestine? Yes, sir. This other brother here, he's from Palestine, but he's with another. There's actually two who are from Palestine. Nas Daly and then the other brother. And he's saying something to him. He's about to knock him out. Okay. I, yeah. Uh, Could you make out what he's saying? Let's see it again. Yeah, let's watch it. This guy hollow up America for both country Palestine. No. I think he's pointing out the fact that he is a clear traitor of the Palestinian people. And even from an American perspective, it's a complete and utter form of disrespect to their own liberal values that the sanctity of human life goes out the window for Palestinians. I think uh, he's pointing out the fact that this man, even though he's Palestinian, he's not Palestinian. And he is so beloved and loved by the Zionist elite that the famous Israeli lobby group ADL gave him an award to appreciate everything that he has done for them. This individual had the goal to make a video about Islam. I spent one full month studying my religion, Islam. For the first time in my life, I shaved my head completely just to make a point. Okay, this was a bit random, but why would you shave your head to make a point? He went on a six month challenge to learn about the top six religions. He kept Islam as the final religion in his challenge. And I was curious to know which scholar or religious leader he'd learn from. But for some reason, Islam is the only religion that he didn't go to a religious leader to learn. He only claimed to learn Islam from his mother. And now for the final religion, Islam. But this religion, I did not learn from a sheikh. I learned Islam from my mother. He showed every single other faith the intellectual respect to learn from their leaders and scholars, but not Islam. For one month, I read Christian books. I spoke to Christian bishops. For one month, I read the holiest books. I talked to religious leaders. I read Buddhist books. I talked to Buddhist monks. I read Jewish books. I talked to Jewish rabbis. For one full month, I read atheist books. I talked to atheist scholars. But when it comes to Islam, <laughs> forget about it. I'm gonna go to my mom. Is she a scholar? No, she's not a scholar. Has she studied anywhere? No, she hasn't. She just prays a lot according to him. And let's see what she's been teaching him. <laughs> Huh? Where'd you get this from? I've scoured the Quran, the Hadith, nay even the religious books of other religions. Couldn't find this quote anywhere. Can we get a reference? No, we didn't. Yeah, we didn't get a reference for this. So if this is your source, frankly, I'm worried about what's coming up next. There it is. This is where Islam started in a cave that looks something like this. Yeah, 
clearly my worry is justified. No, Islam did not start 1400 years ago. Islam started from the beginning, from Adam alayhi salam, Prophet Adam. We don't believe that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the first Muslim. Islam was revealed to Prophet Muhammad by an angel while he was sitting in the cave. Ah, oh, this is just getting embarrassing now. Islam wasn't revealed in the cave. The Quran was revealed. You ask a four-year-old this, mate. After he's finished taking the crayon out of his nose, he's gonna school you on this better than the relatives around you. And so I read about Islam. And the first thing I learned is discipline. Again, mate, you ask any person that accepts Islam, the most fundamental thing that he or she is taught is monotheism, Tawheed, the oneness of God. This is what separates Islam from the other major religions. And it is an integral, integral point. If my mom can pray every day for 30 years, five times a day and commit to fasting and cleanliness, then I can make a one minute video and I can go to the gym. Did he really make this comparison? Is he okay? If his mom's been praying for 30 years, surely he can start to pray now. You should be praying and I should be praying and you should be praying. I don't know why we don't do it now yeah. because we're too distracted by mundane stuff. Yeah. Uh, but it's not a good thing. How was the first thing that he said? Yeah, my one minute videos. <laughs> She's the best Muslim I know. She doesn't hate anybody. She loves her religion. She loves other religions. It's incredible. How can you love every religion? No, you can be tolerant of other religions. You can be accepting of other adherents of other religions. But you don't have to love other religions. I mean, Islamically, we believe, like I said, in monotheism. We believe the greatest sin is associating other partners to God. So how can I say I love the concept of someone associating partners with God? It doesn't make any sense. Now, some of you might not have known that years ago, Nas left Islam and created his own religion called Nazism. Didn't you actually invent your own religion? Where is this conspiracy theory coming from? I'm totally serious. Let's have a look. In life, there are three things you shouldn't talk about. Money, politics, and religion. So today, I'm going to talk about religion. I was born and raised Muslim. I prayed five times a day. And on Ramadan, I fasted for 10 years. I was taught Islam was the only way to heaven, and I believed it. Then I started making non-Muslim friends. Christians said Jesus is the Son of God and is the way to heaven. Jews said they were the chosen one. Hindus said there is not one God, there are millions. And my atheist friends <laughs> made fun of all of us. The more people I met, the more I realized everyone thinks their religion is right. And if one is right, then fundamentally everyone else is wrong, including me. That is when I stopped believing in religion and continued my belief in the idea of God and decided to create my own religion. It's called Nazism. His clear and public apostasy was enough to make Muslims who care about their religion turn their backs on him. And what's of course more problematic is that even before apostasy, he acted publicly in an anti-Islamic way and defended it. I got a lot of criticism for being a bad Muslim. When I showed you the gay capital of the world, Castro in San Francisco, I was called a bad Muslim. When I showed you alcohol in my videos, I was called a bad Muslim. When I showed you how prostitution is legal in Senegal, I was called a bad Muslim. When I drank, when I dated, when I traveled, I was told not to. If it isn't obvious by now, I'm not a religious Muslim. Nas Daily publicly claims to be an Israeli first, claims he left Islam and created his own religion called Nazism, and that he does not pray, he dates, drinks alcohol, among other sins, but still claims to be a good Muslim. We leave his Islam to God as God is the ultimate judge. But this is not someone any Muslim should follow. May God guide Nas Daily, and may God protect all Muslims from the misguidance Nas Daily is spreading about Islam, Muslims, and Palestine.